Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Having one of the worst crashes, let me first state, this is not financial advice. This is my journey. You're responsible for your money. Have a new computer set up. Still getting set up, but loving the new setup for sure. Um, this one, this is this is the big crash, guys. This one can keep going. We can go back to the womb, you know. Um, you know, eight thousand seventy five hundred. If we get below that, that would be very surprising. Wouldn't be that big of a deal because these things are starting to get bargained. Uh, I mean, I think it's just the manipulation caused the panic dumps, and now we're starting to see the the end of it. And I already know who's right here, right here waiting. Me, <laughs> and then a bunch of people like bankers and um, hedge fund managers. Uh, this is them trying to get into the game early, so they cut the price in half. Uh, you know, it's not a lot of them when that, you know, it's not just all of them. However, when you see the coordinated moves, when 100 billion, to, we've seen 150 billion leave the market and enter the market at will, like it's nothing. I don't know what you call that. Like I said, I don't go down the rabbit hole with those things. I can't control that. It doesn't matter. Like it doesn't. Meh. It's like trying to control the rain. It's like, man, it's gonna rain. Well, the no, best you can do is get inside and um, not get wet, right? And I, I look at that as not panic selling. Uh, oh, panic selling is a, it's a funny word to me. I never even. I don't know. I would. I would. I have so much. I don't want to call it pride, but it's like, yeah, I would go to fucking zero before I panic sold. Uh, it's just, I don't know, it's just not in me. I think it's just a very, very bad strategy overall. Um, so, yeah, I mean, just 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 hanging tight. Uh, this is, this is going to be a rough one. Um, I want to show, so there's a lot of people out there, and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm meeting a lot of quality people, and I'm noticing one of the big things is, <laughs> it's kind of funny. I don't want to put it in a bad... I don't want to make this sound bad. But, you know, there's a lot of idiots out there that made a lot of money. There's smart people that made money too. But the reason the not-so-smart people were able to make money, make money is because it's easier to pull the trigger if you don't overthink things. Smart people tend to overthink things. They, they, they prance around. They prance around. I'll show you a video. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you something like this. Holler at Eric Thomas if you haven't. He's a very good motivational speaker, but this is this is something that's interesting. I love you. Y'all see the one where the lioness is kind of sitting there and she double dutching and all the, the beast is running by and they just keep going. And she just in preparation mode. And out of nowhere, there is no no music, no, no preparation. You just see my man come out of nowhere and just boom, bam, grab one, boom. Boom, rip your heart out. That's All the right. mode. So, a lot of that, if you can picture, um, a lot of people are, are, are just standing around. Like, was that lion smart? Was that a smart move? Or was it an obvious move? Uh, I mean, some of these moves are obvious. If you believe, it comes down to a core confidence. And I'm not sure how many, how many daily videos I'm going to do. I might restructure going to the future because I'm not really a news guy. Um, I kind of break down mindsets and yeah, it varies from day to day. Each day I can change my mindset and it's kind of easy to freestyle when you have different events to, to kind of break it off of. But, um, then again, you know, I don't want to come off as um, too repetitive, right? Cause a lot of me, ham and cheese, a lot of my stuff is going to be the same. I don't, I don't change unless it's dramatic and then, then it's a, that's a fun event, but getting into, the lion that wasn't a smart move it was an obvious move and that's kind of how i feel when i see blood in the streets because i see a lot of people that overthink things and yeah i mean and the not so smart people are also the ones that invested in you know the next hype coin so you have to kind of have you have to be smart but you can't overthink things it's that simple like i was overthinking steam like in, like for no reason i don't know why it happens right like i, I was sitting there i pulled a trigger but I didn't do exactly what I wanted. And now it got listed on Binance. Out of nowhere. Just boop. So that's going to, after this recovery, that's going to push Steam up a lot higher. Kind of sucks, in my opinion. It sucks that, for, it's kind of good for me because I want to collect some more. But it sucks for 
um, you know, people who have their full bags of steam because they hit Binance during the worst crash ever. That sucks, right? Not to get that huge boost at the beginning. But, yeah, I mean, it's just like not overthinking things. Um, either you believe in the market or not. Like, this isn't... Life's very hard, right? Like, you know, animals kill each other. That's that's how they survive. Like, is it evil? Well, that's how they're designed, right? One dies if they don't do... If they, you know, one has to die. And it's just very... I don't know. It's very, very... A lot of people don't don't see nature that way. And our underlining human nature is that, yeah, we're smart enough to learn. It's called discipline, right? Like, I was playing a video game the other day. What was it? EOS. Um, it, it sounded like EOS, guys. So so I played it. No, Elder Scrolls, right? I, I'm an EverQuest guy. I haven't played, you know, I played EverQuest forever. But I, I, I just don't enjoy video games anymore. Right? It, it was like if I didn't feel like I was adding value to life. Well, anyway, I got in this EOS game, or ESO game. And, um... The first thing I did was go around, I got my bow, um, I started killing people, and then the guards came after me, and then I had this huge bounty on my head. It's like, I played the exact, I, like, I'm, I'm such a good guy in real life, eh, I'm not floating my boat, but you know, I'm a, I'm a fucking, I'm a pretty stand-up guy. And, but in the vir virtual world where it didn't matter, I was just the, uh, I was just the most evil, it's just like I unleashed it into the virtual world. Um, and I don't know, I just thought that was funny, but... That's kind of like how you are, though, deep down. Like, you just need an outlet for it. Every human, you know, that's just how we were, you know, survival of the fittest. Just because we have laws and we, we have this facade now, it's no different, right? The, the people at the top are animals. They have to make, you know, they don't have to. They make decisions that, you know, wars, all of this shit. Like, this is, uh, we, we paint a pretty, pretty coat of paint over some really ugly um, human human behavior and it's 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 sad to say but it's almost natural right if you just look at how like uh, you'll see a beautiful rose bush and it will literally grow out of a dead animal it'll grow out of and kill every plant around it doesn't matter right it's just survival of the fittest is how we are um but we're starting to evolve and realize if we can work together you know, and the underlining thing it's kind of everything is a business deal right we have business deals with the trees right we give them our carbon dioxide they give us oxygen um so you know it's a, it's a fair trade that's just kind of how i don't know if it's carbon monoxide dioxide i mean don't fucking butcher me for that shit the point is life's a business deal it's all about good business right if we give the trees bunk oxygen then they that's that in return hurts us because then they're going to give us bunk goods um and getting down into it, it's like either you believe in the crypto or not. When am I throwing spears? I'm definitely going to be throwing some spears. I'm going to throw some steam spears. Maybe um, maybe set some lures. I want a little bit more bit shares. Um, maybe some of these super cheap alts. Because, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum's holding well. Still over a thousand. How is that even possible? I mean, I might want to buy some Ethereum. It's just, it's odd. It's like Rocky. Just does you know like a thousand just does it just doesn't go below a thousand for some odd reason. Bitcoin Cash is probably. I mean, if this thing gets any lower, it's. I remember when it was 0.08. Um, Neo is really cheap. Good time to get some core positions if you're filled on core positions. And yeah, I'm just gonna be hunting. I'm just gonna be hunting some of the cheaper alts. I personally, I mean, I'm just talking about what I'm doing. I mean, I, I want some more steam. I was like that one, that one lion, the lioness. I didn't fucking pounce like I should have. It, it just seemed like an obvious move at three fifty. I was looking at it at one for some reason, and that's that's bullshit mindset. Right? Everyone has it. I'm not above it. I know when I have that, and sometimes you just gotta learn to pull the trigger. But if you're not committed to crypto, then get the fuck out of here. Like it's, I understand if you're looking at it, you want to live vicariously. That's different, right? But. If you're going to suffer or comment or ask for advice, like a lot of people want to read all the books on how to work out. They want to read everything, how to diet, but then they never actually pull the trigger. So it's worthless. It's useless. I mean, if that's what you want. That's fine. Um, I'm not making this for anything. Just like you watching it, I'm not expecting anything from you. You can take it and do whatever you want with it. Uh, just a lot of the same repetitive questions I see. And I see people, they are actually seeking the advice. And... There's a lot of good stuff out there to answer your own questions. A lot of it just comes down. A lot of it's an answer that you don't want to hear. 
Some people don't want to hear just buy the fucking dip. It's hard. It's hard when to catch a falling knife. It's not easy. No, somebody wants something easy. Somebody wants you to say something that would be easy for them to do. And when that's not the case, you're always going to ask the question because you're seeking an easy answer and you're never going to get it. That's why you always see these questions, even though you're like, well, what the fuck? And just the hard answers. Um, it's either, uh, what do you do? One of the questions is, what do I do if I have no more ammo? I mean, you can either sell for a loss or you can hold. There's not many options. Put in work on your smaller investments. I mean, yeah, you can help promote Bitcoin, but, you know, that's a, that's a drop in a bucket. When you can actually do some damage on some of these small coins. This is the time when people need you. This is the time when some of these small cap coins are suffering. And when people are suffering and you lend them a hand, it's like 10,000 X brownie points. You get so many brownie points, guys, girls. So that's when you do it. That's when I did it. I did it when, when, when the coin was down and forsa uh, forsaken. But you have to find something there. Uh, you know, I mean, I've, I've preached this over and over again in different, different aspects. But, you know, I'd be going down here. Look at that no limit coin right there. Um, very low market cap. Wow. And, yeah, I'm just looking for the super, you know, I mean... <laughs> That's crazy. We can even go down and see if there's anything in the 10. If, if No Limit Coin is down that much, then we're probably going to be able to find it. Like a Lant under 10. I mean, I'm just looking at coins that I actually know. If I know the coin and I've done research and I don't hate it and it's under 10 million, fuck, if it's under 30 million, 40, 50 million, really, I mean, in this day and age. But if it's under 10 million, then it's probably, like I said, I don't know. I don't, I don't, these are risky, man. The volume could be low. The um, the smaller cap coins actually get the tail end of the craziness because they're not on the big exchanges. So they have the thin books. So they can swing pretty wildly. Just because it's under 10 mil and just because it's under 50 mil, you might not be able to get bulk of it. You might be able... You know, this is a play where you have to really time it at the beginning and just try to scoop up as many bags as you can because just because it's at this price doesn't mean you can go get two big handfuls because you might just double the price doing that. There might just not be any buyers and there's panic sellers because no one wants to buy when the market's going down for some reason and everyone wants to sell for some reason when the market's going down. So what does that create? It creates a lot of sell pressure, no buy orders. It just falls to the bottom. So a lot of these are illusionary. You're looking at your coin, but oh my God, it's so cheap. But it's like, really, could you really go out there and buy six figures of a lant without doubling the price? I don't know, maybe. Maybe you could. Um, I doubt you could get it uh, low six figures, maybe. I mean, you're talking, you know, that's that's more than the 24-hour volume. So you're definitely going to do some damage to that that price. You're going to increase the price that way. But, yeah, so, I mean, there's a lot of things to keep in mind. Um, I love days like this. I just do. It, I'm so confident in my investments that I'm only looking to buy the dip savagely, savagely. It's almost as if I've been to the future and seen what was going to happen and coming back. And it's just like, these are the opportunities to buy. Um, it sucks for me having to buy Steam at a 3, 4, 5, six, 5x price, 4x price, 3x price. But that's a mental hurdle that you have to get over. And I'm getting over it right now. Like, I woke up, I saw that on, uh, on thing. Like, you know, I'm not a fucking robot. I'll do some techniques. I'll get over it, though. I'll make sure it's a win for me. I take that energy instead of putting it in hate. I put it into the good side. It's like putting a little gold bar in the, in the safe. You know, it's like, yeah, yeah, you, you put it in the good side. And that's what I do with the energy. Energy is gold. Energy is um, very, very valuable. And if you looked at it as precious as it really is, not let it escape through hate, um, wastefulness, no reason for all that. Um, all right, well, this is probably already getting pretty long. I'm out there. Might bump out to you, bump out on you, uh, bump into you out there on the lake if you get your spears and, and fishing rods ready because this is some good fishing weather for the believers. Um, and yeah, good luck. Cheers. Peace.